Hi, welcome to CMS. In this video, we'll start explaining how to make a quantity surveying for a project. As we mentioned before, we chose a project for G plus M plus 15. It is a common project, like this shape. Have this plan, which is four flats for each floor in the typical floor. It's a common project. Of course, CMS is applicable for any type of building construction so let's start for coin surveying of this project step one project description you will start to enter the description of your project that's the project name the project code if you have a codes for your project that's for your reference the status of the project is it in the tender stage or you are doing the execution or close out that's also for your reference put the name of the client name of the consultant name of the contractor if there and the location then you will start the description of the project what the components of the project put the area per meter and the number of the basement ground floor put the area mezzanine floor what the area of mezzanine and what is the number of this mezzanine or podium you can consider it mezzanine or podium some buildings have a mezzanine using for a commercial some have a podium using for uh, parking and the health club and whatever so according to your building components you can put your description uh, also the typical floors more buildings have the one type of typical which is one floor and repeated for whatever number of floors if it's changed arch architecturally or structurally you have to divide it for type you can put it there the area for each types and the numbers of each type also if you have rooms in roof area you can add the areas of this at the end cms will give you the total built up area of the project whatever you will enter here is the built up area and that's the typical floors number then you'll go back for qs we're still in the quantity surveying we're going now to make quantity surveying for the structure work you will find quantity surveying of structure work it's divided for substructure work and superstructure work in step two. In step one, you will find the foundation, strap beam, tie beam, and slab on grid, and parts of the column and walls, which is the neck column, which is the area is under the slab on grid, plus the core wall area under the slab on grid. For superstructure work, you will find the all columns and the wall, the all special concrete element, which is like a parapet or dooms or any decorations it will be inside the core wall and special concrete element superstructure work is divided by category the first category which is the element till mezzanine or podium in common buildings the mezzanine and podiums have the same structure design and architecture design so when we enter for one floor only it will be for the numbers of the mezzanine or podium the same also for the typical floor typical floor normally is have have the same design structurally and architecturally so enter one floor only it will be by number of floors and the roof whatever what i said now is the common practice if it's not there or there is any difference between the typical floors to from each other you can also enter in the same location and we will see how we can avoid any conflict and how it can be working even there is more types of the typical floors for each category you will find beams and reps if you are working with uh, hoardy slabs and the normal slabs type that's the three categories inside the three categories of the floor wise so let's start now with the foundation that's the page of foundation you will find here if you need to go back for the main page or go back for the quant surveying or you will jump for the next step next step here which is next here after the foundation he will go jump next for the strap beam as a shortcut we can make next like this we'll find we are in the next page back for foundation in this page as most of the cms work you can insert the data only in the maroonish color with all shades in the gray color you cannot enter anything okay but in the maroonish color either you can enter directly or you can enter by asking a password which is cms in upper case 
in the head of the page you'll find here the title of foundation you will find here ask you for choose the excavation method same as we calculate all the required earth work so you have to choose the method of the foundation if you click you will find only two types of method of excavation either you will excavate the full area of the land or you will excavate only under foundation according to Bumi which is principle of measurement international you have to excavate only under foundation that's the engineering calculation if you are going for engineering calculation to submit your POQ but if you are going for the actual execution on site you have to decide according to the site requirements so we can choose now as per Bumi and as per the engineering uh, calculation excavation under the foundation you will find here some information this CMS will provide you during your calculation here the steel quantities which is divided from 8 milli till 40 milli all the types of rebar here is the total it will be calculated the ratio between the rebar and the concrete here is the concrete quantities the reinforcement concrete quantities here is the BCC quantities as a concrete lined in concrete here is the waterproof quantities the BCC shutters per meter square the shutter for the foundation per meter square the excavation per meter per cubic meter and here is the depth this depth it is required from your side to enter what is the depth of the excavation if you stand on this cell you'll find insert the average depth of the excavation for all area that's the common excavation depth if you will go for excavate under foundation you can enter also the excavation slope which is the phi of the soil if you are also going for the actual calculation but according to Bumi you have to enter this as a 90 degree only because the excavation must be calculated by according to the, the engineering or the actual size of the removed earth to place a concrete instead of it okay and here you can enter also the workspace required for the labor to work and for shutters according to Bumi this shall be only the same as the BCC but for actually you can increase it according to the site requirement this is up to you this according to how the POQ structure is and the preambles of the project you can also men mention in your POQ that this calculation either to engineering calculation in Pumi or that's the actual calculation which will be excavated actually on the site you have to mention this clearly because according to this your price will be generated so from the head of the sheet you will enter this data only how to how you will go for excavation what the depth of excavation what the slope of excavation and what the workspace all these items the rebar and the details of rebar and the ratio and the, and the concrete quantities and waterproofing and shutters and the excavation will come automatically after inserting the data of the foundations let's see how or to insert the data of foundations let's open the structure drawings on the foundation layout this project is on piles the piles can be uh, determined later according to a subcontractor work so it can be the cost of the piles can be entered directly so let's start with the foundation itself this sheet is applicable for all types of foundation either pile cap or isolated footing combined footing rafts different thickness of uh, foundation any shape of foundation this can be applicable in cms so let's go for let's take some examples and know how to do the calculation if we choose pc1 you can enter the code for your reference you have to enter all the codes and all the size for each code according to schedule or according to the details drawn so it's better to start to enter the data from the schedules and details drawing for the which code of foundation will be there what the size of the foundation and what's the reinforcement for the foundation and we'll see now how to enter all let's open the screen to make it more clear the pile cap is pc1 pc2 pc3 pc5 pc6 7 and 8 pc1 size is 1.2 by 1.2 and the depth is 1 meter pc2 2.8 meter by 1.1 so the length is 
the width is 1.1 the depth is 1.1 meters and so on p3 2.5 by 1 meter and the depth is 1 meter P pc5 dimension is 4.5 2.8 width and the depth is 1.1 and so on for the others these dimensions we will insert here we'll put the code and the dimension the length per meter the width per meter and the depth also per meter that's the size of each pile cap as we have in the drawings or in the schedule the next we'll check the reinforcements we can find here the rebar which is bottom layer and top layer and sidebar that's the bottom that's the top that's the sidebar for each bottom and top there is long span and short span first still is the number of the rebar per meter how many rebar per meter and what is the diameter the diameter you can choose from the the rebar size there is a question maybe it is different from country to other about the rebar size we will find here it is strictly asking for 12 14 16 18 20 25 32 40 other countries have another types like 13 millimeter or 22 millimeter or whatever from where we can change this one actually it is considered and there is a method to change the rebar size from the QS structure work you can find here that's the diameters of the used rebar you can change and if in your country you don't have 12 and you have 13 you can enter 13 milli if you don't have 25 but have 22 you can enter 22 milli like this when we are going back for the foundation we will find 13 milli which we changed in the QS also the 22 milli which we changed there that's the way how to change the repair diameter according to the available fabricated diameter so let's continue how to insert all the repair and the reinforcement of the foundation inside the CMS and this will be according to the drawings or the schedule for each type let's continue our example in PC1 we'll find here the diameter per number for the bottom and for the top and the rings in around it's mentioned here it is seven bars with diameter 20 so we have seven bars only with diameter 20 how we will insert this in CMS CMS accepts the number only per meter we have to tell him the number of the bar in meter so for one meter we have how many bars according to our example which is pc1 here we have 1.1 meter for 1.1 meter which is which is one meter of rebar because we have almost five centi as a cover block so we have almost five centi for each side cover block so for pc1 have uh, one meter lens so it is considered here seven rebar for this one meter so easily we will enter here seven as it's there and choose 20 according to the drawing it is mentioned the same in both ways it's, it's choosing the both direction to be the same reinforcement that means we'll put this in the long in the long span and in the short span the same what about the top rebar it is mentioned here the same 7 bs with diameter 16 so we'll choose here 7 bs with diameter 16 for the both direction as it's mentioned there plus the rings in the perimeter which is which is 7 bs with diameter 12 but this 7 bs is inside less than 90 centi that means we can consider this as an 8 piece with diameter 12 let's take another cap we'll go for pc2 little bit different in the description of the reinforcement so we'll take it it's mentioned here for the bottom rebar it is diameter 20 each 15 centi this also must be converted to how many rebar per meter each 15 centi it can be almost 7 rebar per meter or less you can calculate it you'll find it is almost 6.7 
can easily enter 6.7 per meter it will be changed to 7 but it will be calculated because the numbers not have a decimal but it is cal it is calculated as a 6.7 cm is calculated as a 6.7 don't worry about if you didn't find your decimal there and 20 mainly as it is there for one direction that this was for the long for long direction and by the way it is also for the short direction as it is mentioned here so we'll enter for the shorter direction the same 6.7 and diameter 20 what about top rebar for the top reinforcement you'll find here 16 milli and also 15 centi from center to center that means also 6.7 per meter you will add it for the both direction so you will add it here 6.7 and 16 millimeter other direction the same 6.7 and 16 millimeter and so on you will make the same for all types of pile caps whatever mentioned there you will find the quantities according to the drawings and you will put the dimension according to the schedule along with the rebar as we saw now so what are the other inputs we have to uh, insert in the CMS or change in CMS because it's already uh, it's already considered here by default which is the cover block as we mentioned now it is a 5 cm from each side so we will we'll put here per meter 0 0.05 what is the BCC thickness the blinding concrete the thickness of the blinding concrete we have here it's also per meter so we will put it 0.1 meter what is the BCC extension around the foundation this is the blind the blinding concrete have an extension or have a width more than the uh, foundation you will consider our in our case we consider as a 20 centimeter because we choose the shutter type as a solid block so we will make the shutters as a solid block it's not a timber we will choose the we will choose the type of shutters from here either the type of the solid block or you have a wood shutters or you have another shutters of wood or you don't have any shutters if it is not required in very rare conditions so because we have a solid block with 20 cm thickness we have the PCC extension around with 20 cm if we don't have minimum we have to put the same thickness of the PCC or as, as per the design this is not a rule the same we will do for all the uh, for all types of foundations at the end you will find your required outputs which are all the steel quantities per diameter automatically you will see like this for all diameter you used the concrete of the foundations per cubic meters and the ratio between the steel and the concrete which we have in our case is 143 which is reasonable and you can use it as a reference you find you check your calculation is reasonable or not because there is some ranges we are using in the market so this is just for your reference the quantity of the concrete, the uh, blinding concrete is a PCC, the blind concrete, the area of waterproofing, the PCC shutters, the shutter of the foundations, and the quantities of excavation as we mentioned before. You can jump through this page using these numbers, the serial number, we have till 246 type of foundations. So instead of scrolling the mouse, you can jump through these buttons that's the way to entering the data for the foundation let's now see in other types of foundation which is not in our example but we'll take a brief on them to cover almost all the types of foundation which you may face in your common projects if you have a raft foundation not uh, a pile cab or isolated footing could the same which we did in pile cab it's the same we will do you will do in the in the isolated footing no any change type let's have an example if we have that the project with raft foundation only we will treat to the left with the raft foundation as it is a one big isolated raft so it will be a very very easy to calculate so you will have the full area by length and width you will just enter the length and width of the of the raft we have the raft here with almost 25 meter and the width of even almost 17 meter you will enter and you will put the thickness of the raft one time 
and put the number of this reference. Of course, it will be for another project. That means the above, this above will not be existed. You will start only from the rafts. But we are giving now an example to cover all the type of, of foundations which, which you will face in your common projects. So the raft is very easy. You can consider as a one foundation only with one thickness. Okay. Normally the rafts have extra rebar. How to enter this extra rebar in the CMS? This extra rebar can be a bottom layer or top layer, X direction or Y direction or X and Y direction, whatever, whatever you will have. For example, if we have four meter by four meter like this, that means we have a one rebar. The length of this rebar is four meter and repeated only in this four meter distance like this how will enter this in the cms first we'll put the code the code is a we'll add, we'll add here a how many numbers we have to account in all the in all the project according to the same situation or the same condition how many number for the same type with the same length with the same repetition so how many type how many numbers we'll put it here in the numbers then we'll put the dimension, which is 4 times 4. The dimension of this rebar is 4 times 4. What the thickness? The thickness is 0. That means he will consider only the rebar and he will not consider the concrete because the concrete is already considered before. So the trick here is you will put the rebar as a dimension of the foundation, but you will not put a thickness. The thickness is zero so you will consider only the rebar if the rebar as per our condition here the, this as, as per our case here the length of the rebar is four meter and repeated for one direction only for another four meters so you put four times four and where to put the the reinforcement you will put in the location according to its direction here it's considered in direction in the in the bottom and we consider this in the long direction. If you put long or short, it will not affect because this is only one rebar. We'll allocate only in one location. We'll not put in the four or five locations as we did in the others in the other isolated footing. It's only one location. What about A? What is the reinforcement of A? We can check easily. A is 16 milli, each 15 centi. That means almost 6.7 piece and choose 16 milli diameter for rebar by very easy way and what's what happened if this a or this four meter by four meter in the both direction and if we have another in another direction for another layer what we'll do we'll put in another direction the same 6.7 16 milli so if it's not A, if it's B, what about B we have? And if we have here another rebar in another direction, this direction we have A, but in another direction we have B. B we have 20 milli, also 6.7. We can consider here each 15 centi, that means 7 or 6.7 .7 piece per meter. So that's the how to treat for the for the extra repair for the raft and so on we will make the same for every extra repair by the way for this raft which is 70 centi according to the design the 70 centi is 16 milli top both way each 20 centimeter and 20 milli each 15 centimeter in the bottom and what ha that's what we entered in already for this 70 centimeter we have in the bottom 20 milli each 15 centimeter in both way that means in the long span and short span and for top we enter 16 milli in in long span and short span each 20 centimeter that means five per meter and that's the sidebar which is not mentioned there in the drawing but this is actually when we are working at site we must have a side bar to stand the bar on it we cannot work in the bottom or in the top rebar without having side rebar to hang the, the rebar on it uh, whatever we are doing we are putting almost this 10 milli that's according to the site requirement or according to the experience if you need to add it's better if you don't need it to not affect 
too much another requirement if we have different thickness of the raft if it is not a uniform raft if it is uh, have a different level a level of 70 cm which is the common and another drop for thickness of 125 what to do and this 125 have a different reinforcement as you find here 125 have a different reinforcement 20 milli and 25 milli instead of 16 and 20 what to do how to deal with this in the CMS by very easy way now we already entered the full the full raft as a 70 centimeter so we need now to enter the balance area for 125 meter how to enter this we will take the dimension for the for the different area which is 10 meter by 7 meter and we added here and we put the thickness which is the variance between 125 and 70 which is 55 centimeter because that's the new concrete or the additional concrete which we have to add and we will give it number one because it is repeated one time only that's as a concrete what about the rebar we will insert the rebar according to the details which we have rebar for 125 centimeter thickness raft we have each 20 centimeter which is five rebar per meter with diameter with 20 milli in top rebar we have in both direction also 6.7 rebar for 25 milli that means 6.7 25 milli 6.7 25 milli in both direction that means we add now the new rebar or the extra bar for the extra concrete type that means now we we put double double rebar for this area why because we entered before the same rebar of the 70 centi here and now we add extra rebar for 125 so this area have double rebar now means we have to remove the old rebar from this area so we we'll write again the same area which is 10 times 7 without thickness but here the repetition or the numbers to be minus 1 and we will give the same rebar of the thickness of 70 centimeter to be cut it from the total that's how we treat with the raft with different thicknesses if we have another thickness most we will do also the same procedures so that's how to go for this type of raft another trick or another common practice can be you can face for the foundation when you find a foundation which is not in order dimension you can find this this way this way this way of the raft it's not have a proper or order dimension you cannot give which dimension you can choose so in this case you have to calculate the area and you have to choose the common width or common length of this raft and transfer this area to length and width then enter then enter in the foundation you have to enter as a length and length and of course thickness in the foundation tables that's almost the uh, the common tricks which you can you can face in the foundations or any area uh, in the foundations calculation so we try to cover I hope you will not find more if anyone have another uh, another type you can you can share with us and we'll tell how you can treat with it in the CMS we finish the foundation we'll start in the strap beam as we know the strap beams is the beams which is connecting the foundations together as it is mentioned in the drawings you can see in the layout the strap beams connecting all the pile caps together you can also connect the combined foundation or the neighbor or as per the design requirement so as we see for any strap beam it is it have a part outside the foundation and small parts inside the foundation it is interacted with the foundations itself so how we will deal with the strap beam in the CMS if we we'll go back for CMS you will find here the page of strap beam as we said before for the foundation you'll find how to go for the main page if you need or how to go for qs or how to go back for the previous element or go next for the next element and this description of the strap beam it's mentioned 
the codes of the rebar and we'll see how we'll deal with this now we'll find here also which is the automatic uh, output the steel quantities for all diameter that's the total that's the concrete reinforcement concrete volume that's the ratio between the rebar and the concrete per kilogram rebar per, per cubic meters this is we are using this as a reference the volume of the blinding concrete the area of the waterproofing and the, that's the shutters area and that's the excavation required to execute the strap beam again only we can write only in the maroonish cells the light or dark maroonish whatever okay here we are jumping for the other strap beam either by scrolling the mouse or to press direct in the hyperlink okay we'll find here in the table of the strap beam that's the first maroonish cell is the code or the type of the strap beam which as per the drawing the schedule of the strap beam here the the average of the concrete foundation depth how to deal with the intersection between the foundation and the strap beam you have to enter the the depth of the foundation which is intersect with the strap beam here is the width of the strap beam per meter we will put it here here is the depth also per meter put it here according to this you enter now the dimension of the strap beam and the dimension of the foundation which is, which is intersected with the strap beam balance now two items which is the length of the same type of the strap beam from center to center whatever we have fb1 you will enter the length for each one center to center either you need to enter for each one separately or we can gathering together and put in one number it will not make any difference okay so in the first layer in the strap beam table you can put only the length of the strap beam with the same type from center to center uh, what about the second layer the second layer here you will put the length of the strap beam which is intersected with the foundation from the edge of foundation to the column center why to be deducted from the volume of concrete only so it's, it will be deducted from the volume of concrete only but the rebar will be continue okay so till here we enter the dimension the full dimension of the strap beam like this we'll we'll put all the dimension for all the strap beams with all types in the table as we saw till now we complete all the dimension of the strap foundation okay what next the next is how to in, uh, how to insert the reinforcement will not calculate anything we will use only the, the schedule of the strap beam and enter the same number or same data which we have in the schedule we'll enter in our table what's there in our table the first is the the bottom reinforcement which you have straight which have code a and mid span b the, if we if you see here this drawing you will find any type of beam the main straight bar is the a the mid span in the bottom called b by default a is equal 1.25 of the span if this number not satisfying you or you are using any other kind of code you can change this percentage here it's considered length a is 1.25 of full span that means we have we have the span which is center to center and it is passing the span with almost one eighth for each side this number can be changed according to the, with the code which you are working with but there is a default number you will find like this the mid span which is b you will find here it is considered 0.75 from the center to center span in the bottom steel it is we consider two layers consider two layers first layer is the normal layer second layer if applicable or if written in the schedule but normally it is not used too much so according to the schedule you will find how many rebar and what the diameter of this rebar by very easy way if we are going if we are considering the straight bar of the bottom reinforcement it's considered now number of rebar and the diameter 
the same if we were to talk about the mid the mid span how many how many rebar and what is the diameter of the rebar the rebar you can also choose from all of this as we mentioned before in the foundation if also we need to change the diameter as we did before we can change the diameter from the quant surveying rebar the same we'll do for the top rebar top rebar as we see we have straight which is c and that's the lens as it's considered and we have extra top which is above the uh, above the columns only which can also consider as 0.6 from the lens also this lens can be changed according to your code but that's the that's by default the same we can also put the uh, choose the, the number of rebar and the diameter for each type c and d if we have another layer also we can add it there then we're going for the sidebars what are the sidebars which is e if we have a sidebars for the beam you have to enter also the it is considered here the same length of the span and you can enter the number of the rebar and the diameter last thing in the in the rebar is the rings how we we'll enter the rings the rings we have to enter the legs how many legs for this ring and what is the and how many ring per meter and what is the diameter if we took an example now for all this you can see here the strap beam as per this table we have two types stb1 and stb2 the size is 25 by 80 for stb1 stb2 is 30 by 90 and that's the reinforcement we have the bottom straight and mid span and the top we have straight and extra above support plus the stirrup the stirrup which is 10 milli each 15 centimeter how we can enter this in our table as we said here in the bottom straight we just enter five five numbers for five numbers 20 milli diameter in the mid span there is nothing so nothing here in the top the straight there's five rebar for 20 milli diameter in the extra top there is nothing for the strap for the stirrups he didn't mention any number of legs that means it is two legs only and it is 10 milli each 15 cm 15 cm that means almost seven rings per one running meter so we can consider here two legs 10 milli and here is seven so we finish now the rebar what else we have in the strap beam we have excavation the same what we did in the foundation must be almost repeated in the foundation we will add the depth the common depth of uh, excavation which is 1.5 meter we'll put also the excavation slope as we said if the ex if the calculation according to the engineering this must be 90 degree or the calculation took place according to the actual excavation on site you can change the, the slope according to the soil degree the workspace also as we said in the foundation that's the area for the shutters and the area for the labor to work which is not considered in the engineering calculation this is not considered in boomy again this is according to your principles in the poq according to the structure of poq you have to decide which way you will present your you will present your prices in the poq also enter the thickness of the bcc under the strap foundation you will enter also the uh, type the type of shutter and the excavation if there is any special excavation for any specific strap beam that's the way to make or to calculate the strap you will find the output here is the total length of the strap that's the total volume of the concrete per cubic meter that's the total rebar for the steel okay here is the steel and concrete rebar ratio which is 188 which is very reasonable and that's the waterproof area and that's the shutters and that's the quantity of the excavation for this specific type of strap front the same will be repeated for all strap beams by the same way at the end you will find the full output for all strap foundation you'll find here full quantity of rebar for each diameter the concrete volume the bcc volume the full waterproofing the full shutters and the full excavation for all the strap so that's the way to calculate the strap foundation. 
we finish the foundation and strap beam will start now in the next of the next of the structure element in the substructure which is the tie beam the tie beam which is connecting all the neck columns together and to receive the slab on grade and the first floor structure like this in our project here are the tie beams which is connected all the neck columns together there is many types of tie beams each type have different size and different reinforcements how to deal with the tie beams in the CMS and what to insert in the CMS and what the output information we will gain let's start tie beam page is almost like the strap foundation of the strap beam we'll find also the same that's the how to jump within CMS pages here is also the legend for the uh, tie beam what is A, B, C, D, E we will mention now what is this code the outputs which you will gain after completing and inserting the data is the steel quantities with all diameter the total, the concrete, the ratio between the, the steel and the uh, concrete the waterproofing area, the surface area and the shutter area the same way how we dealt with the strap beam we will deal with the tie beam we have only we'll, we'll enter only the type of the tie beam and how many repetition we will see now why we are putting this and uh, here's the dimension for all the uh, tie beam all the dimension here to be per meters and the length for each tie beam from center to center as we mentioned here how we enter this one that's from the drawing directly for each type of tie beam we'll find a schedule which is telling us what the type of tie beam and what's the size by very easy way for tb1 we'll put here tb1 20 by 60 20 is the width and 60 70 is the depth we will put here per meter so 0 0.2 and 0 0.6 now to enter the dimension from the drawing tie beam will take the for each type if we are considering now tb1 will take the dimension center to center for each tie beam we'll put only the, the lens for tb1 only here either this layer or this layer that's, that's the same whatever if you put here or there any location you will put the dimension it will be considered why you put this repetition if you have number of tie beams and it is repeated for 20 or 30 or 50 times not need to write here for each cell you can put you can write only one time and write the repetition here it will be considered and also it will be multiplied by this number directly if it is only one type and one uh, dimension you have to put here one you have to put one otherwise it will not be considered if it's zero here everything it will not be considered at all so it must be considered here as a repetition one if there is no repetition okay here we'll put the thickness of the pcc if the if there is a pcc under the tie beam maybe the tie beam will be hanging from the column to column so there is no pcc it will be if the tie beam to be uh, executed above and the back filling so it must have a bcc so this according to the design and according to your methodology of the execution okay okay now we have to enter again the rebar as we said also in the strap beam we have bottom rebar top rebar sidebars and the rings a b c d e which is marked here a again is a straight bottom B is a mid span bottom C is the straight top D is the above column on the top and side bars and the rings which will be how many legs and how many ring in the for one linear meter and the diameter of the ring the same we will enter from the schedule here we will enter this is all the data from the schedule directly in the bottom we have 316 as a straight and 316 as a mid span so we enter here 3 16 3 16 we have in the top 2 16 and 3 16 in above the column so 2 16 and 3 16 above the column there is no any sidebar but there is a syrup 8 milli 20 centi each 20 centi that means 5 piece per meter we have to enter 5 piece per meter and two legs eight milli that's the way we can enter the data of the steel 
if you need to put any remarks here or any the location for the typing you can put if required if you need not it's not affect anything uh, the output here you can find the uh, surface area the shutter area this is different between the surface and the shutters because the, sometimes the tie beam have more margin in the in the wood so it's considered here the margin of the wood how much what is the waste of the wood so you consider the waste of the wood in this calculation that's the total length of the tie beam that's the concrete volume the enforcement concrete volume and that's the rebar and as we said if there is a pcc say you put the thickness so we have the pcc quantity and the waterproof quantity that's all for one type of the tie beam it's all we will repeat everything will be the same steps which we did which we did for tb1 for tb2 and 3 and 4 and so on as per the drawings of the of your project at the end you will find uh, all this day all this data is gathering together and you will find for each diameter for the bar as we said and other information which will begin after complete entering the data of the tie beam here also is the only hyper uh, hyperlink for how to move through the tie beam itself that's the numbers of the of the tables all this information will reflect it to for all the project aspects as we said before in the quantity surveying in the, in the material takeoff and boq and estimation and scheduling and management and everything that's that was for the tie beam thank you and see you in the next video